I went from painting this to that in one year. Hola, welcome to the channel. Anybody who's new, I am an Irish artist by the name of Dylan. Dylan! Yes, I started painting in around 2022 and around 2023, a year later, I painted that. Woo! And I know what you're thinking, it's probably a case of absolutely not. Someone else painted it and you took a picture beside it. No, it was actually me. There's some footage of uh, of the painting itself, of how it was done. So I know what you're wondering. It's probably a case of how in a year's time you can go from painting stuff like this to painting should these. Always be should make you happy. There is three very simple yet effective ways to go about this. Step one is consistently put paint on canvas. Pretty basic pretty simple it's just a case of figuring out what mediums you like canvases techniques that you know work for you there's different blend techniques different ways to blend different types of things can be made with a certain type of brush stroke that was a lot of type 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 if you're finding yourself struggling to paint if you're finding yourself struggling to improve your painting i would just say to paint more and it's not a case of just paint anything, paint every day, because I don't believe that that works. There are more to it, which will be steps two and three. But a problem a lot of people face is they don't know what to paint. They'll, they'll really get an idea. It'll be a case of they really want to paint. They sit down, they get their paints out, they get the canvas ready, and they then don't know what to paint. A way around that is to simply go on Google, get a reference image, a real life image, or get a painted image you can get them anywhere and everywhere it's a beautiful place internet or you could just do a how-to video a follow-along video that was a good self promotion there um but yeah there's plenty of step-by-step -step videos plenty of you know paint along videos and it's not a case of you're just stealing somebody else's art it's you're just learning how they do what they do and it will teach you the ways to put that paint on canvas in an effective way to the point that you stop getting frustrated every time you put blue down and then you put a bit of yellow down and all of a sudden you have green and you didn't mean to make green that's for a whole different video step two would be to watch how to videos and i know that was sort of a in and around step one watching how to videos and watching tip videos or reading books I have a few books here. Yeah. Uh, we have Perspective Made Easy. I don't know if this is back to front for you. Just draw faces in 15 minutes because I'm still struggling for faces. Figure drawing has been the one that I have used the most by Michael Hampton. And Color and Light for the Realist Painter. I would honestly admit that I haven't used this as much as I should have, but you know. Use books, use how to videos, and don't be afraid to what I would call effective scrolling. Whether it's on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, there's a million and one videos teaching you how to blur, how to do a tree, how to paint a tree, how to paint a mountain. Perspective, one point perspective, the optimum tool, fresh eye perspective. And the videos are no more than 10 minutes long. And if you're watching those and trying every day, or at least every other day and actually trying there's no way that you just don't get better with your art and i know it can be frustrating to paint for three to six months and think i'm getting nowhere with this but you can never really fail you're just sort of succeeding at a painting or you're learning from it the only way you really feel is if you just completely stop and say well i didn't get that so i'm never going to be able to paint and i know it's it's a case of who is he to tell us that you know i'm able to do this but I would just say take it from me because I have never been able to paint or draw or anything and I have one eye, this one does not work, sorry if that was spooky, and I've, you know, improved drastically in a year, but from 2021 until 2022, I was just doodle painting, uh, nothing really, like I'll show you some of the paintings now that I was doing, so, you know, you can't really say that it was trying then. It wasn't until 2022 that I took it seriously and thought, right, well, I'll make something of this. 
and then it was a case of uh, people asking for paintings because I started, you know, doing what I said I would do and it was constantly putting paint on canvas. It was watching hard to videos of how to paint a mountain. It was perspective, it was this, it was that. It was just whatever I needed to learn. I was finding it on YouTube because it's gonna be there and putting it into practice. Third and final tip is somewhat cliche or cringy, but have a why. Have a reason why you're painting because <clears throat> that will effectively determine how disciplined and consistent you'll be with your painting. For example, if you're painting for fun and you just you just like it, it's meditative, it's it's common, you're not gonna expect yourself to paint every single day, every other day, or every single week. And if you miss painting for a week, you're not gonna kick yourself a way somebody else would kick themselves because they're trying to make a living off it the way I am. I'm trying to get out of my office job and do this full time and it's going somewhat well so far. I'd say I'm, well, I'm definitely closer to going full time with art than I was this time last year. It's only because I've consistently painted, learned, didn't just throw my toys out of the pram when paintings didn't go my way. Obviously I got frustrated and that happens with everybody, we're all human, but I want to do this full time so that I can have my own studio, have my own job where I work for myself, just promote art, do my art, have a YouTube channel, post it on social media, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, have income come from them and just put it all back into the art and, and essentially just grow so that I can make look after my family and myself. So if you know your why, it should be a reason to pick up a paintbrush put a couple of paints out and just practice every day. If not, then your why is not strong enough. Like I said, three tips, short, sweet, simple, tried and trusted. It's worked for me, like I say. I can't even see half the canvas. I was never able to paint, still not able to draw. Very, very unqualified with pencil drawn, mainly because I didn't have a why, I was just doing it for fun. But as for the painting, the painting is something that I have a strong why for, and that's why I paint every day. So yes, Thanks for watching the video. Anybody has any other recommendations for a video, drop it in the comments. If this helped, let me know. If I can do it, you can do it. Anybody with two eyes and a good enough why, I believe.